it is is the best. Of course, if people are outside the Midwest, I don't know if you can even get this. I've never seen it outside the Midwest. That's it comes from uh, Wisconsin. That's why you need to move to the Midwest for lemonade. Mm. Save me a piece of that corn. So where are we going today, you know? We're going to the lake. Where's that lake? It's 80 miles from Santa Fe. Yeah. As you can see, we have our canoe strapped to the hood of our pickup. And this is the first time that we're taking it to the lake, so I'm... It's the maiden voyage. Yes. <laughs> it should be a lot of fun. We're gonna stop by a cafe by the lake first to have a little bit of lunch and then we're going to see if we don't survive. And also, we're gonna stop by the liquor store to get a giant bottle of champagne to smash on the side of the boat. <laughs> Just kidding, that would probably break the canoe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we should have some fun. We probably won't, but we should have we some fun. We saw a common grackle. What are your thoughts on the common grackle? <laughs> well, you were gonna go off on a tirade. I wanted to get this on video. Okay, so no do we? Yeah. Not the bird. <laughs> you like those grackles, right? And you get upset. People call them common. Yes, yeah, not very nice. Yeah, there's some unusual grackles. So what should they call those grackles? They should call them fancy grackles. <laughs> They just call them regular grackles, just grackles. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if they're a family has two daughters and one's real pretty, people might say like, oh, there's pretty Jane or whoever, but then they're not going to turn and go, oh, and there's common Susan. <laughs> you know, you can acknowledge the pretty one without having to insult the average looking one. Yeah. What do you think the birds think about this? Do you think they share your views? In their, in their little bird brains, what uh -huh. do they think about it? Yep. I don't think they think a whole lot about it. Oh. They probably don't even know what we call them. Just live their birdie lives without knowing that they're being insulted daily. <laughs> <laughs> Here is the beautiful lake where we will take our maiden voyage. And it looks... Show this side. Not very choppy today. This is the big Let's part be of, windy. of the lake. This is the big part of the lake that goes on forever. It looks like fun. We'll see if we can row the boat because it's a one-man boat or a two-man boat. So we'll see if we can row it together and not fight about rowing. <laughs> As long as you, you row want, right. What do you want to bet that we'll fight about rowing? We're already fighting. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're coming on to the boat ramp. Well, we don't really need a ramp for this guy. So let's see if we can get off of the truck without ruining the truck. kayaks. Oh, you can camp here too, or is that maybe that's just a day tent? First step, unstrap the boat. Got the boat down off of the truck, and you need to have life jackets for everybody, otherwise the game wardens will get you. And then we got our little cooler full of Spreckers lemonade. And we and got the, this guy. That guy. Setting it in. You're dumping it. Yeah. You gotta lift yours. You just need to get yours in the water. Okay. Gross. <laughs> All right, hop in. Let's head off. Okay. To the wild blue yonder. Okay, let's see. I guess I gotta go up front here. Get in and I'll push this up. Okay. Hey, would you look at that? We're out on the lake. And there's our expert rower. 
<laughs> I don't know if a canoe is the best choice. It is really hard to balance it. <laughs> yeah. I hope that we don't tip it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had a, a bit of a time getting away from the boat dock, cause, uh, or the boat ramp, because we were rocking it pretty good getting in. <laughs> so far, so good. We're going to aim for that bridge way down there. You can probably barely see it on the horizon right there. There's a the bridge. 80 miles from Santa Fe. Our goal is that bridge. I wonder how long it'll take us to get there. Oh, probably 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Not bad? Maybe less. What's that sound? Is that the sound of our boat breaking up? Is that the sound of like catfish going to come and kill us? Probably. You come wow. to the great overpass. Look at all the nests. Yeah. Can you zoom on this thing? Uh, I think a little bit. Oh, toward. Nothing. Yeah, I can zoom. A little bit. Look at all those cool mud nests. Yeah. It's amazing how they keep track of which one is theirs, you know? Yeah, how can that be? There must be like a thousand of those. I guess those are swiss or I don't think those are swallows. Maybe those are swallows. No, 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 bridge well. <laughs> oh, this proves that we made it. We made it to the bridge. Yep. Here's the other side of the lake, in case you were wondering. <laughs> this is the side that goes on forever. Forever, ever? I just realized it's going to be harder for us to get back. <laughs> yeah. Taking us. Yeah, right. Look how far we are from the bridge, and I have not rode to go that way. <laughs> I have to rode to keep going there. Oh, yeah, we are going to have to walk back. We can dig, you know. Oh, man. We're going to get our workout now for sure. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. There's the other side with the other wow, set of... Look, they even make them on the flat ceiling. Yeah. How do they make this? Bird and a little, some little tiny birds pestering it. <laughs> yeah, something else. Yep. Well, I better put away my camera and help him row because it's going to be a long haul. Yeah, the sunshine has come out, and we're almost back to the dock. I think it's been a rather pleasant trip on the lake, our first canoe ride on the lake. No, it's been horrible. <laughs> it's been rather, and we didn't even argue about, yeah, well, I don't think we argued at all, did we? We are now. <laughs> all right, we got that in. <laughs> saw some big fish jumping. Yeah, I think it was a walleye. Oh, we don't have those in Oregon, so those are exotic, exotic oh, fish to us. You gotta have some sensible snacks. So we got our Nature Value, Nature Valley bars. It's a and sensible candy bar snack. The ultimate summer drink: Sprecker's Strawberry Sparkling Lemonade. Oh, it doesn't get so any than good! This. Actually, it the does. Blueberry, the blueberry, yeah, the blueberry is the best one. But they're all amazing. Yeah. yeah. Here, I'll do a. A little reaction for you. Oh no, don't. <laughs> oh, so good. Uh, this is the taste of summer in a bottle. <laughs> I tell you what. Do you want me to get a shot of us going overboard or something? Yeah. <laughs> not, oh my goodness. Here, let me see this. 
There's Kareen enjoying. Make me look skinny as I enjoy this. <laughs> oh, it is the best lemonade in the world. And I challenge you to try it and say otherwise. <laughs> it is. It's the best. Of course, if people are outside the Midwest, I don't know if you can even get this. I've never seen it outside the Midwest. That's it comes from uh, Wisconsin. That's why you need to move to the Midwest for lemonade. Mm -hmm. I had a pretty good time out at the lake. What do you say? It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> and why were you forced to do this terrible, terrible thing? Because of Gebertstag month. Whose Gebertstag month is it? It's Kareen's Gebertstag month. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so that means for a whole month we have to spoil her rotten, which kind of sounds like what we do all the time anyway. <laughs> but uh, at least in the month of June, she can rub it in that it's her Gebertstag month. So then she can really hound me to do special stuff for her. Yeah, so now we're going to Sonic to get ice cream treats instead of Dairy Queen. In fact, her this was her Gebertstag present. She wanted a boat to go out on the lake on. So we got her the boat and we went out on the lake. So everybody make sure to wish her a happy Gebertstag. Here's the... Gebertstag girl who doesn't like to be on camera all the time. No, I don't. <laughs> but happy Gebertstag. Thank you. <laughs> was it was it as fun as you hoped it would be? At first it wasn't fun because I kept on thinking I was gonna tip over, but then when I got into the swing of things, I had myself a good time. A good time was had by all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the journey, and uh, I don't know, that's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, thank you.